Hi, it's Oscar speaking. I'm the developer of this app, the Test HMD application, a VR application to test the limits of your virtual reality headsets and then compare it with all the other headsets in the market. Uh, the room is full of tests and different zones uh, to each test and there's a lot of panels hanging around with information about what to expect from each test. Over there you have the, the um, uh, field of vision test with the vertical and horizontal ones. Then you have the brightness and the contrast one. Then you have the, the audio with binaural and, and frequencies. The subpixels, those little stuff which are from virtual reality is made of. And the, the posters over there are some charts, uh, print charts and color charts. And the video, so the table of same, I love to call where all the headsets comes to cry about their limits and sweet spot test, geometrical test, glare test, reading test, the tracking, a new one room. So the snailing test, everything is um, full of tests to know the limits of your headset. So if you, okay, this is the, the control for starting. This is the control panel in which we have in English and Spanish can change it anytime. Sorry about my English. I will try to speak as clearly as I can. Um, here you can calibrate your head test. So if you see, if I move, I can press the button and put it right on your side and locomotion speed. No tele teleporting still, it's on the road, but from now just locomotion speed. I will put it five because I love to, to surf on virtual reality. Okay. So let's go to the to the first one. You can start if you want for Stellen Snellen test. Snellen test. This is uh, okay designed in 1862 by the Dutch. But okay. This is some literature explaining what to expect from the from the test. The most important thing about this test is this size of the uh, letters that uh, throws 11.76 meters in the real world that is pretty pretty far away from the limits of the virtual reality technology right now I should read the green red ones but it's impossible I have to go very very very, very close to, to it okay so with these uh, marks you can measure how readable how I can I don't know how to to say that in English but how, how, how far can you read the the text okay let's go to the reading zone the tracking zone is for later okay this is a text this is a reading test the new romancer from William Gibson this is the father of the metaverse with all due respect to Neil Stephenson uh, we have all the text right here, a fragment of the novel, but in this egg form that will allow you not only to read, but on to, to find the aberrations of the lenses. And uh, okay, that's the same as on Slenin says you have all the marks here to, to test it. Then we have all the those uh, color charts that uh, most of you love to see inside and uh, reference thank you for everybody who has done something for this app um, this is the glar test let me show you what you can you do inside this zone okay you, you have five different patterns that you can choose with uh, trigger buttons and moving that is something uh, I think it's, it's, it's pretty interesting to see how how the rare the what do you call the, the god rays are are moving along with the with the patterns let me show you how to do okay you can choose all different patterns and then we can move it you can choose when it's moving and you of course in the video you will not see never 
the god rays because it's inside the lens, the freshness lenses. So, but I'm doing seeing that like this is like a, a nightmare. This is a little circus of things flying away from the lenses, inside the lenses. Uh, I can see all the, the four squares going to the center. And okay, of course, the, the great sun of God rays over there. Okay. So, oh, of course, the, the glory test, the, the common one. There's the panel, and we have the geometric zone. Geometric zone, this is a pattern specially done to, uh, with a lot of um, lines, perpendicular lines, uh, horizontal, vertical lines, uh, a pattern just to, to see how, if the lines has these aberrations over here, the barrel, pincushion, tilesive, chromatic, big netting. Okay, chromatic aberrations, it's all explained in this panel that you can find if you move close to the to the lines and you do something like this and you can see all over and the limits of the lenses what happens there that's the not only in the center of the lens that everybody thinks is okay it, it's it's the perfect zone but what happens outside that zone so yep and you can move it and see how those lines deforms This is the sweet spot, spot test. Sorry, there are a lot of circles with some data inside. This, this is just to see how big the sweet spot of your lenses is. Not only the center, but as long as you go outside, things will happen. Okay, and then the tracking is something strange, moving strange things. Okay, the tail same, but you can see all the values that somebody of myself have done inside this uh, application okay the, the fob the contrast along with uh, informal some info about each headset so let's move to the video zone the video zone there's a lot of panels hanging around some video panels explaining some stuff and the sweet spot to see the video. This is a uh, four meters from from four meters, three dot nine meters of the screen, one hundred thirty three dot five inches of the screen. That gives you an uh, fifty two angles of vision. And then we have HD video, full HD video, two K video, four K video, all the same video, of course. And you can okay, you can play it. Uh, we can get closer and try to read. Of course, this is the in the in the HD. But if you see the HD from here, and I will stop it and put it for key. Okay, from here it's almost almost identical. Of course, if you go closer to the video, I can read perfectly everything here and here. Of course, if you go backwards and put it in HD, everything is very blue around here. So, of course, there is difference, a lot of difference, but I am almost face to face with the video. I have to do it from here and look for difference. And of course, there are. So stop. You have the compare button that is the four at the same time, and you have one, two, three, four, the eight, full HD, 4K, 2K, and HD, and you can compare it. You can see almost here is the square. Okay, they cross when they are. Okay, mm -hmm. stop it, and let's go to the. Okay, this is the sub pixel test. It's all about the pentile, all the different sub pixels, all the magic inside the, the big pixel. And of course, in, uh, in a lot of the screens, in the pentile screens, the red one uh, pops up from the image, creating a false 3D imaging. And as you can see, I can see more or less, this is Rift S, 
with uh, RGB so this is not as evident but uh, okay it's something worth it I guess uh, the test the visual monitor and printer check that a lot of studios are using every day this is just to check the details of the picture the colors of the picture of the well-known pictures um, as you can see all the fine details inside the inside this image you have color charts and okay this is very basic and pretty pretty passive so it's just just to check but you to have something that everybody will check the same at the, at, with the same light at the same room okay virtual pixel how are you this is uh, the audio zone if you go inside you will have a panel with all the frequencies that you can that you can hear if you are in the 40s like me you will not hear much of those frequencies um, but of course you, you can go to something pretty common uh, i don't know 250 and you can give some volume to it and you will hear it of course change it multiply but uh, okay you have 1k 2k okay beware of the volume you have here the y you have to be aware of the volume this is the spl chart because not all the human okay we are human so we hear all the frequencies in different intensities so you have to play with the volume as long as the the frequencies going through the chart and okay, some panels and you have the binaural uh, positional magic cylinder that you can grab it grab it and move it you can move it okay you can close your eyes and, and try to to place it on location where is it okay Okay, there and you have of course some height ranges mid ranges of the same music the bass the mid and the height just to check how good is your headphones and you have there okay probably more or less what all the sound engineers accept like a standard of quality okay moving to the screen test brightness and contrast test you what i love about this is that you can move only the contrast to find the contrast and compare with the others okay i have to i have to try to see all the different block black blocks but moving just the contrast okay if i move in move in move in those contrast the blocks are appearing and the value I'm choosing is that one probably that's I can see barely the up left block it's over there so it's dot six remember that dot six low then we can go to the table and, and compare with the other headsets we have the field of vision the famous field of vision test that you can find on steam it's this more or less the same It's the first idea I got and it will be free for everybody ever but it's not as accurate as this one you have to enter of course be aware don't move your head inside or fix it on your side okay from this moment you will be fixed in the universe and the universe will move with you so just stay calm and enter press the trigger okay don't move your head and yes you have to move the poles until they are out of sight over there okay so you have 88 horizontal fob and same don't move your head and try to find where both dots disappear so then okay more or less it's over there okay 116 degrees okay let's move on to the tracking test tracking test you can go into the tracking test okay this is uh, it's a little more complex but okay 
what to expect and how to how to do it. First of all, you have uh, two protractors, uh, all the to to uh, measure the degrees. One on the theta axis, the other one on the x axis, and the other ones are um, cameras to see what is happening from those perspectives. So once you enter inside the room, and you have to press some buttons to calibrate and put it exactly in the middle. Okay, I'm here. And as you can see, I can move from the X axis and I can see it from the Zeta axis. And it's just about to draw. I'm going to move and try to lose track. Okay, over there. Okay, well, the, today is working really, really good tracking. Okay, it's last and do it on this axis. <laughs> Let's go to the infinitive. Uh, infinitive beyond. And from here. E okay, over there. And if I move, I will see all the dots hanging around, but on, the, on red are the ones that the tracking is lost, was lost. So as you can see, it's older. And I can go here and try to measure it. It's although you have some angles there, but you can see here exactly where it lost the track on the x axis, on the z axis. Okay, let's go back to the hole. So, this is pretty much the app. I think it's a very complete one with a lot of panels, a lot of informative stuff to learn. And, okay, 88, 116, and it was 0 0.6. So you can go, I am with the refest, 88, 100, and okay, I'm more or less like there. The contrast is the same, but you can see, um, okay. This uh, on the on the release candidate is done. Okay, it's not here, but you can see compare with the Vive Pro. Dot forty seven versus dot six has a little more. That something well known too. That uh, Vive Pro has more fob than uh, Oculus Rift. The Valve Index you have here, the Explorer, the Odyssey. Of course, you have the. Pimax with the large, medium, and small ones, and Reverb Quest, and of course Sony PSVR. That I can I can run this app over there. So whoa. let's put it on Spanish, just to know, let you know that everything is on Spanish too, perfectly translated. Okay, so thank you for watching and hope that you find this app as interesting as I, find, as I found it when I was doing it. So thank you and see you on the next update after the summer. Bye bye.